I'm Andy Berkey, and tonight I'm going to try to become the first human in history to use a CNC machine upside down. So the Origin Shaper has completely redefined the role of a CNC machine. No longer are we uh, restricted by a bed size or even the, the way that we deal with it in a vertical or even upside down aspect. So what we'll try to do tonight is go Michelangelo style, Sistine Chapel, and route a design into the ceiling of my shop. So I have no idea whether this is going to work or not, and I'm probably way outside of the design of this tool, but we're going to do it anyway, see what happens. The Shaper Origin is about 13 and a half pounds. So it was essential to determine straight away a comfortable height to have the platform from the ceiling for maximum efficiency both for being able to carry that weight and also to be able to see the screen. We weren't entirely certain how the dust collection would work upside down, so we mounted the ceiling fan close to the workspace to blow away any residual dust. So we had to quit after the first evening because my arms were just completely blown out. I had nothing left. So now we're rebooting. We brought in some reinforcements. We've got a four foot ladder to make it easier to get up on the, the scaffolding. Georgie, what's the mod that you've got for us? We're going to put this pad on the helmet just so it's easier on your skull. On my skull. Right on. Let's do this. All right, you ready? Okay, so George, let's get this thing on here. Give me, we, we've got this packing material. Let me cut a little out of here. Okay, we'll put that on that side of that dial. It's a hot glue gun. Okay, you ready to hold it? Yeah. Hold it. Nice. And I'll get this one so that it's... How's that? It should stay. Does it stay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, here's the next one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, let's try it. 
How's it feel? Good. All right, let's do it. So the last thing we have to do is pull the tape and then we're uh, ready to do some painting. So. So there it is. That's how I became the first human in recorded history to use a CNC machine upside down. The only question you might have is, why would you do that? Because I can? <laughs> hey, I'd like to thank my friends Zach and Georgie for their help in this production. Couldn't have done without them and we had an absolute blast together. Don't forget to make something really cool today. Berkey out. <laughs>